Uh, Louis Legareta says, after flashing the ESCs on my Speedy BF 405, the motors no longer spin when using Betaflight. They sort of budge and immediately stop. Any recommendations? Um, yeah, so you flashed Blue Jay 0.21, which is the newest Blue Jay. I'm sure that's what happened. Uh, uh-huh. Blue Jay, for the last few months, six months, eight months, something like that, the latest version has had toned down motor power on 1S and 2S oh, drones. Oh, I have heard about and this. There's a list of specific ESCs, but really the best way to handle this is just up by 10 or 20 on both the startup and... Um, uh, startup and ramp up, I think is what they're called. The startup and ramp up power, the two power sliders that you have in Blue Jay. You want to mm-hmm. bump those up by 10 or 20, save, and then start and try to spin it again. Bump them up by 10 or 20, save, start, uh, try to spin them again, etc. And then do that until your, you know, that stuttering stops happening. Basically, it's because they're trying to be safer, but that means that the startup powers are going to be too low for some motors to spin. But what it should mean is that if you do this correctly, then your motor shouldn't burn out when you try to do things like turtle or get stuck on a brand. Yeah, yeah. So having startup power too high makes you much more likely to smoke the motors if you're trying to turtle and the motor is jammed. Um, or if you hit a branch and get stuck in a tree, but don't disarm quickly. Well, no, that's startup power. Never mind. I take that back. Um, it's really turtling or trying to arm when the motors are blocked. That if the startup power is too high, you'll smoke the motors. Um, and I, 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 I don't know if it's uh, somebody. I'm not going to look it up. I was in a chat with somebody, and he was like, "Here's Oscar Leong's recommendation for." configuring BLHeli ESCs. And I, I don't want to attribute this to Oscar Leong. I think that's where it came from. Maybe it was somebody else. But he was like, yeah, set startup power to 100%. I was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. But you're going to like massively increase the odds that you smoke your motors. Uh, so, so, good to know. Great live stream clip. If you've got Blue Jay, what did it, what did it start, Blunty? 021? Specifically, or is it, was yeah, it on earlier versions as well? Yeah, specifically zero two one. This change was made, and yeah, it's a min and max startup power. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, we'll raise that. Just raise that up until the motors start cleanly. Okay. Yeah. Basically, the down the the upside is that you're getting them to spin. The downside is you can burn them if they're too high. That's why you only want to bump them up by like ten or twenty. Like you could go forty or eighty or you know find the spot if you want to do that. Yeah. But the, the goal is just not going too high. Um, also, though, if you go too low, maybe you have a startup problem in air. So you know, like maybe ten or twenty over where you get that stuck. Well, I mean. the startup problem. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the startup problem shouldn't happen when you're in the air because the way the ESC starts spinning. So when when the motor is not spinning then the ESC doesn't have any feedback to know what the position of the magnets on the bell are. And so what it basically does is it just kicks the bell. It just sends a pulse of electricity through the motors and tries to get the bell to start moving at all. And then once the bell is moving, there's back EMF that tells it where the, mo- where the magnets are and it can begin the actual commutation process. And that's why when the motors start, sometimes they'll go, whoosh, 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 whoosh. it's trying to sort of kickstart it, kind of like turning over a, a kickstarted motorcycle engine. You're waiting for it to catch. But then once the motor is spinning, now the startup power doesn't matter because once commutation is occurring, it would only be, I guess, if you had a desync in the air and needed to do, well, then they would do blind commutation. And I don't think startup power applies there either. So anyway. Interesting. I would have assumed it did apply there. Like if the motor stops in the air, it would have to use startup power to fire the motor. But maybe if, it it, if it stops, I agree with you. Like if it stalls, like for instance, yeah. if you don't have dynamic idle set up and you're you got by, like backspin on the prop or something. That's like, fair. Yeah. I could see that. I don't know Except enough I don't think it. Uh, I think that most of the time when that happens, the motor doesn't literally stop. I could be wrong. I think it like. Is still I don't know. I could be wrong. If it stops, then yeah, you're 100% right. But at that point, you're falling out of the air, and it's probably not going to start again, right. I would think. Fair I enough. would think once it stalls, it's it's go- it might try to start it again, but uh, it's not going to start it. But then will it smoke it? I don't know. That's a good point. Fair enough. Always, always good arguing technical stuff with Blunty. I feel like I always learn stuff. <laughs> 